Hi there, Christina here. Thanks for tuning in. I just want to spend a few moments with you here today to talk about something I've learned in school and share an aha moment and how I've applied that to my own life and then hopefully you'll be able to apply it to your life as well. So in school we've been talking about the primary laws of nature, one of them being the law of the path of least resistance. And when I think of that, I immediately think of a stream or a creek um, and the water flowing along. And it flows very smoothly until it comes up to some rocks or some logs or something that's jammed up. And then it slows, gets all messed up and has to go another way. It has to find the path of the least resistance. And that all makes a lot of sense. And my aha moment was, when we had to choose a quote and the one I chose was what we resist persists. The reason I chose that is because my doctor has consistently said that to me in the last few years and usually she said that when I am freaking out about a symptom or an issue or pain or something related to my healing journey and she would say what we resist persists. So my aha moment was when I realized that my resistance, my freaking out, my putting importance on the issue was basically like me causing my own creek to be jammed up with logs. I was creating my own obstacles. And then I thought a little further of that and I thought about my goal. And I recognize that myself and many people I know we have the goal to make money, to have more money, and we put a lot of importance on that. And the importance is more on the lack of it. We're hyper-focused on, we don't have money, we want more money, so we have to set goals to make money. And I realized that with putting that hyper-importance on it, we're basically jamming ourselves up. We're basically putting logs and rocks and shoving leaves in the path of allowing our goals to come to us. Um, we're, we're causing our own obstacles by hyper-focusing on that. I'm guilty of it too. I've, I've recognized that I've been doing that and that's really where I'm at is I'm realizing, oh, the times where I've struggled with weight is when I've had major, major stress and importance on that. And the times when I haven't been concerned with my weight at all, it seems to, I haven't had a problem with it because life has been flowing naturally. I'm not causing um, river jams in my own life by putting hyper focus on the things I'm lacking or wanting or needing. And so that's what I'm doing now and what I'm encouraging you to do is just reflect on your life, look at your goals, look at what you've struggled with and where you're wanting to go and start to look at your what's jamming you up. What are the obstacles that keep coming up and why? Is there a way you can lower the importance of the actual goal and allow yourself to flow and find the path of least resistance and just flow with it? That's where I'm at. I'm wondering where you're at with your goals, what kind of obstacles you're creating for yourself. And if you wanna share or talk about that, feel free to message me um, and I look forward to chatting with you. Thanks for following along. Hit like if some of this information has helped you. Thanks. See you next time.